Good morning, everybody. Resale Rabbit here. It is, oh, I don't know, 9-ish a.m. Little late start today. Was a little busy yesterday. Uh, we're going to a storage auction, but first I have to go get some cash. So, uh, bank run! So that was the unit. My max bid was, I think, 30. I thought for sure I was gonna get that at five, uh, but someone really wanted it. He paid 50 for it. Honestly, I might have considered it if it weren't for the mattresses, because you gotta haul out those four mattresses, dispose of them. It looked like so the owner cleared it out. I mean, a unit that big being that empty, the owner cleared it out. There was that snowboard looked pretty nice, and those greenhouses looked pretty nice, but I'm not paying 50 bucks for that. Not, not when I gotta haul out those mattresses and everything. There was a dresser in there. Could have made money. My warehouse is busting at the seams. I've got a lot of stuff anyways. I really don't need it. So that was the storage auction. This is also the worst time of year for storage units. It's just getting nicer out. So people are more likely to buy it because the cold is no longer a factor. And it's... Uh, tax refund season so people have extra money that they want to that they want to spend so give it a couple of weeks maybe a month or so and it'll level itself off people have spent all their money and they've gotten sick of buying storage units and they'll want to go to the beach and do fun stuff so here is what i've been up to today this room here it's kind of the common area of all of the offices is just an absolute mess uh, or at least it was. I should have taken a before video. I didn't, but if you've been following my channel enough, I've, I've filmed in here before. You could see how much of a mess. In the middle right here, there were a bunch of tables full of old photos and negatives that we've been going through. It's a mess. So let me show you what we're working with now. Look how clean it is. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't even touch this corner yet. This is uh, clothing from the Target palettes that I'm going through. I don't know if I ever mentioned these. I found these two autographed photos. This one is a bunch of Packers from the 60s, and this one has two players. Uh, found both of these in a storage unit and uh, had them professionally framed. So those look really nice. Anyways, don't mind my office, the mess of shoes and stuff in there. So this room is now clean. I've got a little conference table here when I'm meeting with clients. Uh, this came out of Yonkers. I thought it looked really cool. I still don't know what I'm going to do with it. Uh, but it's kind of here for now uh, to let you know I did not pay $200. I actually got it for free because I was buying a whole bunch of fixtures from them. This area here, the only reason these two chairs are here is because I want them for myself. They're my chairs, but I have no room in my house for it. So they're just kind of being stored here. They're neat, aren't they? And then a cabinet here. That one is the same thing, just needs to be put together. Uh, we're going to be storing like office supplies. And stuff in here boy is it dusty in there i put this t cabinet together three years ago have yet to use it and that's been sitting next to it the whole time uh let's see and then over here this is gonna be you know that corner looks kind of empty uh, i just picked up this solid maple shelving unit and i'm kind of moving my camera collection out here all of these cameras you might ask why i'm not selling because there could be a thousand fifteen hundred dollars worth of cameras here almost every one of these is broken in some way uh, customer returns, items that I bought and they turned out to be broken. Some of them, like this one, I don't think really has any value. I thought it was cool and picked it up. Uh, but for example, you know, let's look at this Canon here, the TLB. This is probably about a hundred dollar camera. But if you look in here, no, that's not the one. So this had a different issue. I don't remember what the deal is. There's one of them, a Canon, that is really rough. This one, never mind. This is about a 60 or $80 camera. I sold this and I don't know what the deal was, but it came back all messed up. I don't know if it just got really beat up in shipping or if the customer did it. Um, okay, I need to, uh, two hands to open this. So if you look in here, that shutter is screwy and I wouldn't have sold it like that. And you might say, what about the lens? You can make money in the lens. Well, you see it, that's kind of cockeyed. Yeah, same, same thing. And it came from the same buyer. They were originally together. I've got another one like this. This one down here. Uh, I don't know if it's showing up on here. Let me take the lens off. See in there, one of the fins of the shutter is broken. And then this 
Well, don't even get me started on that. Uh, this was actually an Amazon return way back when I was selling this stuff on Amazon. Uh, this was probably 2014 or 15. Oh, and I don't, I don't think the battery cover was missing. I think I may have grabbed a battery cover off of this camera at some point. Uh, but so a lot of these cameras are broken or just not worth a lot. This one I won't sell. I don't even know what it's worth, but uh, it was the first camera I bought from my collection. Uh, this one here actually is worth some money, like, I don't know, 30, 40 bucks. Uh, at least when I looked it up last, but I thought it was too cool to get rid of. That one is worth almost nothing. So all of these have an issue in some way. Now you notice some of them don't even have lenses and they're kind of ugly like that but I'm not gonna have any working lenses. Every single item here is either not worth much or it's broken. And then this I bought off of a camera shop that was going out of business. They had it as a display piece. Now I have it as, as a display piece. It's an old tiny projector. This was a really valuable and cool one. I sold this for like $250 and the buyer said there was a shutter issue, something that I couldn't find when I was testing. Uh, gave him a refund and now it's a display piece. It's looking a little light over here, so I gotta find something else to display there. Here as well, I had a bunch of cameras up there. I even had one on top of the Favre things that a viewer sent me. It's just nice to put it in the open uh, where clients are able to see it. I rarely have clients in my office, usually we meet in here. So it's nice, out in the open, and I was really running out of space in my office to display these. And I've got plenty of room to grow. Oh, also this thing here, uh, signed by the artist, is not worth a lot, maybe 50 bucks. I bought it in an auction. I got it cheap, I thought it was neat. I also did some work over here, moved a bunch of fixtures in here that we use from time to time. Remember that from a consign or from a thrift shop? I think I had, I'm pretty sure I had that in one of my videos. Yeah, that was in the Jimboree video, I think, or maybe the one before it. Uh, still haven't dropped it off at a consignment shop. They're moving, so they're not really taking big things until next month. But I moved this file cabinet over here. That is, uh, well, got a lot of work stuff in there. That was in this room. It was right there, but uh, it's kind of ugly and in the way. Also, in here, this is all the photo stuff. We kind of packed it all in here. I'll be bringing it out if uh, when we when the Historical Society comes and we work through it, but then it'll all be put back here. Now, I know I'm gonna get a lot of people, don't broadcast this on the internet, you're gonna get robbed. Uh, nothing here has any sentimental value. If I get robbed, my insurance will pay for it. Also, I've got really good cameras and a good security system. My phone goes off anytime the cameras see motion when I'm not here. It's kind of neat. Uh, I, I highly recommend the Netgear Arlo system. It works with my phone. Look at my case. I've had this case for a few years. It works with my phone where if, it sees, where if I leave the property, it will arm the system. Very difficult with employees, so I have it where it's disarmed during the day when we're actually... I have employees here, but right now I'm here by myself. When I leave, it's gonna arm the system. And if it sees motion, the cameras will send me an alert. It'll save the video. Um, and then we've got other cameras that save all videos. It's cheaper this way to separate them. We've got Nest and Arlo, and I like both. So anyways, if I get robbed, yeah, it's gonna suck, but it's not the end of the world. And the person who does it is probably gonna get caught. All right. Well, we're over here now in this mess. Uh, we're gonna pull some orders. I've got, last I checked, 16 of them. So let's see what we got. Also, I've got all this crap that needs to get listed. Uh, don't get excited, that's just an empty box. Although that might be the reason to be excited. Uh, this is kinda neat though. A PlayStation TV. Hopefully it works. But all this stuff, maybe tomorrow I'll list. It's a lot of video game stuff. That is a clock radio factory sealed. Uh, let's see. These were some CDs when I did the last declutter. Whoa, run. These were going for like a dollar, two dollars on declutter. I mean, they're probably worth money on eBay. Got a DVD recorder. I have a cash register down here with a touch screen and everything. PlayStation bag. So this could be a fun one to list. So we've got 16 orders going out today for 500 bucks. Well, just a hair shy. Well, for starters, we got this Oculus Rift development kit. Let's take this down. Right here. Sold this for $80, and I paid $20 just the other day. 
Oh, my remotes are getting to be a little bit of a mess. I think it is in here. There we go. This Sony remote, I got 10 bucks for it. I listed this, I don't know, two days before it sold. I don't even remember where this came from. Sold another Kohler part. It's in box three. And we're looking for the model ends in 338. It's in here somewhere. Of course, it's probably gonna be the very last one that I get to. Interesting, was it this? Huh, okay. So, I was looking at the wrong spot. This is it, this valve kit. If we look at my title, I've got two numbers on there. Um, evidently, it has two model numbers. So anyways, this valve kit sold for $14.99. And this is what you put inside your, probably the shower valve. I don't know, maybe this is the mixer. I, I'm not a plumber. I watched this old house and I've seen parts like that. Anyways, $14.99. So next, uh, where is it? I don't even know if it's over here. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. I see like three other things that I sold that I can't grab because I haven't told you about it yet. All right. This is getting ridiculous. How do I not see it yet? I'm pretty sure it's over here. This is why I haven't seen it yet. It is hiding back here. This is a microphone preamp. It has no power cord. I got $29.99 for this and I thought I screwed up. You see, I got an offer for $10 on this. Turned it down, I declined it. I get another offer a couple days later. I don't know if it was the same person or not, $10. Once again, I decline it. This is gonna have to go priority mail. It's gonna cost me between eight and twelve dollars to ship, depending on where it's going. Well, maybe I could, maybe I could get this in a padded fly rate. Either way, that's still seven something. I don't want to sell it for ten. Um, but right after, almost instantly after I hit decline, it said your item sold. I was like, uh oh, did I accidentally accept it? It was late. I was tired. Nope, it just sold right after sold one of these this is you've seen this in other videos a words why can't i think of words it's an external ringer for a landline phone that's an amazon return label uh these all came from amazon from uh those overstock and return pallets that i got oh uh, what last july i think uh anyways i got 19.99 for it and we're starting to get low on these Here's a nice big item, kind of getting out of here. This is a stereo system for a Subaru Legacy, a relatively recent vehicle. In used condition, it's worth like three or four hundred dollars, but this is a little more than used condition. Look at that, smashed. How do you smash the screen in your car? Anyways, it sold for $20 plus shipping, so a total of $34.95. I got it for free. Um, I didn't know if it was going to sell, but I figured if these are like $600 working, used, maybe I can get some decent money for it. Took an offer for $20. It's been online for a little while. There were no comps on it, so it was a total gamble. Back over here, this USB recording system. This is it, right? Yeah, pre-sonus. This is it. I sold for $35. I don't remember where I got it or how much I paid, but I know I listed it relatively recently. In fact, both of these I took pictures of like two weeks ago and just listed them the other day because I had a box of stuff that I forgot I had pictures of and did not list. Now we've got the last PlayStation shirt, size small, sold for $39.99. I paid 15 bucks at Marshall's for this. It's brand new. So after shipping fees, I should do a little more than double my money. These PlayStation ones did really well. Uh, sold pretty quick. I've yet to sell a single Pac-Man shirt. So I don't know if those are going to sell. And the Polaroid ones, I've sold one of each, uh, making only like 3 to $5. Um, and then I think I spent 10 on the Polaroid shirts and then 15 on the Pac-Man and PlayStation ones. But anyways... Last one to sell. I do have one more, but I kept it for myself. So maybe if these, are, if I can get 40 bucks for it, maybe I'll just sell it instead of uh, wearing it. All right, first we're gonna put this hanger back. 
Nice way to store your hangers. That was like 10 bucks on Amazon. Uh, we sold oh, another one of these scanners. This one right here, Scanshell 800N. Grab a USB cable for it. I always like to check because I found one that was not a USB cable. I accidentally set an e sent an ethernet cable to the buyer with one. Anyways, I got $37.99 for that. Took an offer on this. It's been sitting around for a little while, not terribly long. SA3. Is this it? That's SA4. That's the same thing as this, but a different listing. Buried in here somewhere. I just added a whole bunch of crap to this box. Maybe I shouldn't have. Is this it? There we go. SA3. These are brand new. Uh, at least in the pack in the little bag inside i don't know if there was supposed to be a retail box uh these are microphone transmitter and receiver audio technica i got took an offer for 20 bucks another newly listed item this polaroid job pro in the original box took an offer sold it for 30. i think this is a brand new camera though let me show you i didn't sell it as new i sold it as used this is the strap and this is attached to the camera it doesn't come off I feel like it wouldn't have that little wrap on it if it was used. It is in immaculate condition. Uh, sold relatively quickly, 30 bucks. Now, we gotta find some ink. And this could be anywhere. I'm not seeing it right away. But... Uh, maybe it's a... Oh, this, I think this is it. Maybe? No, I don't think this is it because it's only a single cartridge. I don't know. You know, normally I'm pretty on the ball of finding stuff right in front of my face. Right there. So, this sold it for 10 bucks. Uh, it was actually a viewer who bought it. Uh, I am going to butcher this, so I apologize. Uh, Reishi? Reishi? It's R-E-I-S-H-I. -I. So I totally apologize for butchering your name. I am not good at pronouncing names anyways they said i'm a huge fan rabbit i learned a lot so this is my way of contributing to your cause uh just getting into ebay with a starter store making my way into the game can you sign the package if, if you have time i don't know if they want me to sign this or the the shipping box you know what i'm gonna do i am going to sign one of these for you and uh throw that in the box that way i don't know if you're gonna like throw this with a printer or what that you're selling uh anyways this is expired November of 2016, uh, expired ink sells all the time. So we will get that shipped out for you. Next, man, I'm having deja vu. I sold two more of these. Uh, the external ringers, full price, $19.99 each for a total of $39.98. Got a full price sale on a pair of these. It's a size eight and that is an eight and a half. So, pull out the step stool. Normally, I just pull this box down, but I have a step stool right in front of it. Here is a size 8. Right here. I got a full price offer on these, $14.99. I should say a full price sale, $14.99. I paid $0.50 cents for them and with all of the other Target stuff. These are not doing well. I think I sold a couple pairs of them. What is it? Is it sandals? Is it slippers? I don't know. Women are weird. Just think of all the hate mail I'm going to say for get for that. So anyways, 1490, well, sorry, right? Yeah, 1499. Uh pretty good margin on that because it's going to cost me probably about 350 to ship and then uh, maybe a little under 2 bucks in total fees. Next, you ever get that I swear I I just did this just deja vu. Right over here, sold two more of these external ringers. Look at this. It is getting really light. I had like 50 of these things. Uh, again, full price, $39.98 for both, $19.99 each. Um, they seem to go in bursts. So I sold five of those today, all at full price. I was literally going to throw these in the dollar sale box, but I figured no one's going to know what they are. No one's going to buy them, so maybe just give them to Goodwill. I am so glad I didn't. Uh, for those of you counting at home, let me pull my calculator out here. 
Uh, let's see. We I had roughly 50 times 20 each. That's a thousand dollars. No, I didn't sell them all for 20. Some of them I sold for 30. That's how I priced them when I first listed them. And then others I took offers. I think <coughs> <coughs> I think the cheapest. Excuse me there. I think the cheapest I sold them for was nine. When someone bought a whole bunch of them. Uh, so obviously I'm not getting a thousand for all of them, but I'm getting close to remember I paid a thousand for all seven pallets uh, shipped and everything. So worst case, I probably made 500 bucks on these at absolute minimum. <laughs> you know, if anyone's trying to skip ahead, like lost their spot, they may have missed. Uh, what was before this? I think, I think it was this. They may have missed this because I just did the same exact item twice. Uh, last sale, number 16, last but not least, uh, for $39.99. Let's see if we can find it. I think I just listed this. This might be it. That is not it. This is it. $39.99, I sold a camera lens. My hat's crooked. I sold this camera lens. Uh, got it on a camera. Sold the camera by itself a while ago. And this just sat around. In fact, so I mentioned, I showed you my camera collection and how I'm kind of harvesting parts off of them, uh, such as battery covers and whatnot. This was on one of those cameras because at the time, for some reason, I did not think this was a valuable lens. I thought it was like worthless. So I just threw it on one of the cameras. And it's not a valuable lens, just a cheap kit lens, but I still got 30, 40 bucks, 39.99 for that lens. So that is my 16 orders. 500 bucks i wonder if i get any more orders while we were doing this well i'm gonna get these shipped out and if i get more orders i will let you know otherwise i will end up closing the video that will be the next thing you see so first 10 orders cost me only 33 bucks to ship what i do here is i put the zip code on each one so that way when the labels print i know which one's going where and i can do them all in a batch so is pirate ship still worth it a lot of people are saying the prices aren't as good as they used to be. And yeah, it doesn't seem like they are, but it is still worth it. Let me show you. So this is the Oculus Rift, 10 by 10 by 7 box, a little over 4 pounds, going to Florida. It cost me $15.67 doing it right through eBay, but $13.95 with pirate ship. So that uh, saved me like a, almost 2 bucks. And that definitely adds up over time. Shame this won't fit in a regional box, but oh well. $13.95, saving almost two bucks. I got one more sale while I was doing all that. This book on CD, is it? Yeah, 50 CDs, holy crap. Brand new, I got this from Goodwill. I don't remember what I paid, not a lot three four dollars sold it for took an offer for 33 dollars right hold on yeah 33 dollars i had a price of 43 i'll take 33 for that and it's going media mail so it should go pretty cheap and that is the 16 orders 17 orders today that's all i got for you hope you enjoyed the video tomorrow it's gonna be a fun garage selling video as long as the rain stops so if you like this video, leave a like below. If you didn't like it, leave a like below. Uh, if you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, subscribe anyway. I really like that. I am very proud of this. Anyways, that's all I got. I'll see you tomorrow.